Hello, this is Caroline Middlebrook here, and you are watching the video version of the ebook Developing Money Making Niche Sites with WordPress. This video is all about managing your link structure, which can be as easy or as complex as you want it to be. Now, I'm currently at the Cigar Heaven website, and I've now added a few articles here. Um, these are all pages. Now these particular themes, these ones from Mark Mason, are set up to automatically have this widget in here by default and it uses pages. Notice this little thing down here, it says welcome to WordPress, this is your first post. Um, this is an actual blog post and I haven't changed this. So by default if you use blog posts these are going to appear here and um, they're going to be on your front page and you can't change that. By using pages they appear quite nicely um, on the right here which in my opinion is easier. Now I've also got this about page this one again is created by default I can easily remove that if I don't want to if I don't want it there. If this is all you want to do with your niche site you just want to have a few articles you want your AdSense ads then you don't even need this video because you're done there's nothing else to do assuming you're using these themes. However, in the ebook version I wanted to create slightly more control over my links and the reason was that as well as these actual articles on the site what I wanted to do was be able to put in a affiliate link on the phishing site that I had um, one of the articles or one of the links in here looked like an article but in actual fact it redirected to a Clickbank product now with um, with AdSense you usually get a few cents per click you might get you know a dollar or more if you find a particularly good niche and good keywords but usually affiliate products are going to get you several dollars if you can get an affiliate sale it can get you more money but that's that's another area of contention because with AdSense ads you get the money as soon as somebody clicks the actual ad whereas with an affiliate product you only get the money if somebody makes a purchase so it's something you need to test for yourself. Now what I'm going to do is just show you how I manage the links um, if I want to do it manually. At the moment um, all of these things here as I said are pages. To have complete control what I do is I use the blog roll. Um, if you come up to manage and links These are all the links which have been put in by WordPress. These are all default and we've got a category here called blog roll which is just put in there by default. If you want to add a link or if you want to um, edit them you can do so. So this is what I would tend to do. Um, let's click on add new. Now I'm actually adding the links here for my own titles. So for example, um, oops. I'll just type that one in, four tips for lighting a cigar. Now the web address I'll just take from here, I'll just say copy that link location. I won't bother with a description. Now the categories, I've only got blog roll at the moment, but what I would do is I would change this and do something such as cigar articles instead. Um, all of these advanced things I would just leave. And there's my save button. Now if I come back to... Where are they? Ah, oh, this is the one I wanted. Sorry, manage all links. What I would do then is I would delete these other ones in here and continue to add links for my various articles. But at the moment, of course, with this theme there isn't anywhere to see those links but we can do this quite easily with widgets. Remember that there was a plugin I used called My Link Order. First of all I'll show you how to use it. It's very easy. First of all, you can order the links in various categories, but I would get rid of the blog roll. Um, I'll just use that as an example here. Order links in this category. 
and it, this is simply a drag and drop interface you can just move things around however you want them this just gives you complete control over the order in which of the links that you put in now the next stage is how to actually add these to your theme this is the bit where it's slightly tricky because there are two things we have to do first of all go into sorry not theme editor widgets now we have a sidebar here and it says that we are using zero widgets in the sidebar the way this theme is set up the list of pages and the AdSense ads these are sort of hard coded into the theme but we can add our own widgets into the sidebar and they will um, be displayed alongside so if I just click on um, add for my link order click save changes what we will have is both sets for a moment So this is the main pages widget that was there already and now we've got these blog roll and cigar articles. So obviously once I've taken all of these out and replaced this with you know, my actual articles it would just have one single section for this. But of course we now want to get rid of this part. That's quite easy. We go into the theme editor and we have a file here called sidebar and we have a line here PHP list pages and you just need to remove that you've also got some line breaks there which I think I can also remove so I'm going to delete that and click on update file as I said you don't have to do this it's only if you want complete control over your links and there you go it's gone now this is different if you're using ProSense again anytime you do anything with themes it always depends on what theme you use so unfortunately you have to learn how the particular theme you're using works which is why it's slightly awkward to do these videos I want to include ProSense because I know that some people just don't want to pay for themes and this is a free one Okay, now let's show you um, how ProSense looks by default when I start things out. Okay, what's happened here is my links thing has come here onto sidebar one. ProSense has two sidebars. It has this one here with the big AdSense skyscraper area and this is sidebar two. Now personally, I don't really want all of this stuff in the second sidebar because all this is blog related things which I don't want so this is quite easy to manage again we come into widgets sidebar one it says we're using one widget which is the my link order you click on edit and just do remove I'm going to get rid of that because I don't want my links to be down here because you can't see them I would, and I just want to leave this um, AdSense area on its own, I want my links to appear over here. So instead we'll click over to sidebar 2, click on show. Now this is confusing, it says we're using zero widgets when in fact we can see there's several there. The reason is if you don't put any widgets yourself it will put these ones in by default so when you start to add them in all of these will be replaced with whatever you put in. So if I click on add for my link order and save changes and now refresh my page what we can see here is this um, skyscraper ad is now on its own and I have just my links and that's all of course if you wanted to have other things you know um, categories or a tag cloud for example you can add those in this is how you do the widgets and that's it for both of them now personally as I said I prefer the other themes because as you can see this is quite a lot of space wasted you probably noticed this theme is much wider than Mark Mason's one. It relies on people having a screen resolution of at least 1024 pixels wide. Depending on your niche that may or may not be the case. For people with older computers that are still running in a resolution of say 800 um, pixels wide which is what Mark Mason's themes are optimized for they are going to be far more compatible. So just be aware of that. Okay that's all on 
managing your link structure for now. What I'll do is before the next video I'll muck around with this properly so that it has all the correct links that I want.